morning everybody, happy Saturday. I am in the best mood. I actually didn't sleep very well last night, which is not very like me, but I got up and I've got on with my day anyway. I'm about to head off to the gym and considering I didn't get the best sleep in the world, I'm actually feeling amazing this morning. I don't know why, I expected to wake up feeling like ruined and I woke up and I was like, ah, I feel fine. So got my little Lululemon line leggings on and this top, I mean, I feel a bit inappropriate like lifting my jumper up and you know, look at my top. But I think this is the Align top from Lulu. Oh my goodness. I usually work out in a sports bra and it's so nice to have something that's got a bit more coverage. But it still feels like skin tight so I don't really feel like I'm wearing anything. I love it. But yeah, I've whipped the uh, Adenola hoodie out. It's definitely hoodie weather. It's 10 degrees. It's like Canada Goose weather. So I'm going to get my coat on, head to the gym and then we're going to have a lovely Saturday. If you haven't already, give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoy them and yeah, let's go to the gym. Hello, hello. I'm back from the gym and I must admit I got back showered my house is spotless and i had the most dreamy nap i you know what's really funny i'm such a napper like i can nap any time of day anywhere like i just fell asleep in my bedroom in my fresh sheets with obviously i have no curtains or blinds in there so it's like bright outside and i have no problem like putting myself to sleep but as soon as it comes to night time can i sleep no doesn't work i was just feeling so drained and i mean i did a lot this morning but not more than i would usually do so yeah treated myself to a nap and my mom called me and she's like hey you know it's like a huge full moon tonight and so i've decided that's what's drained me and zapped all the energy from me i don't know how much you believe in like things like that. I'm not like the most spiritual, like witchiest person, but I do believe in the power of the full moon, which sounds so crazy to say out loud. But honestly, when I was younger, it sent me, like, I can't even tell you. You would know it was a full moon by my, like my being before you would even like look at the sky or Google it. Like I would be fit to burst think like worst pms you've ever seen in your whole entire life me the day of a full moon and would i sleep absolutely not but i think what i'm gonna do is put some youtube on i'm just really enjoying my saturday i'm going to have one of my absolute favorite snacks and it's this pot from m s it's their italian pesto mozzarella balls they are so good and i actually love putting them in with eggs as well because they go all like gooey obviously it's mozzarella it melts but they're really good. Mm -mm -mm. So I've come to the conclusion that something that will make me really, really happy is sorting more of this room. I need to sort out, I have all of my dog stuff in here, so I need to sort a cupboard for Cody downstairs in the kitchen, then I can put all that in there. I mean, obviously I told you yesterday I have all of my outdoor storage coming, so I can put like my tent, was <laughs> not even my tennis racket, the tennis racket that's in here. I can put that in there, and then the cricket machine and accessories I'm, I am going to take upstairs, I mentioned this yesterday, and then I do think there are some things in here that I, I am hoarding. And and you've been calling me out for it. I know, I know I don't need the 10 year old L'Oreal lipsticks, but I'm really just struggling to part with them, okay? I am. Um, I don't even think I'm that much of a hoarder, okay? Much. I'm looking at something in here and I'm like, I do not recognize that. Is that part of the hot tub? Surely not. That looks like an inflatable, like, blow up float. I thought, yeah, is that paddling pool? Tell me my sister's not ditched her paddling pool with me too. No, she has not. She's given me... Katie, if this has a hole in it and you've given me this because you didn't want to take it to the tip, you're going to be in so much trouble and I'm going to take your birthday present back. No, she hasn't. I need to call her and see if she wants that back because that is a freaking paddling pool. Thanks, Katie, I guess. Unless it has a hole in it, then I take it back wholly. So the gym has become a bit of a parcel room in the last five minutes. My mango parcel got delivered the other day. I, when I went to Westfield, I showed you around and I said I placed an order. And I didn't think I managed to get the skirt, but I did. So I'm so happy. How cute is this? I've tried it on. It looks so good. I intend on wearing it. Well, actually, I can show you because I have it right here. With an oversized knit. This is Uniqlo. I'll link it down below. It's so nice. I saw someone on Instagram wearing it and I was like I'm gonna try that and it looks really good as in I saw them wear the jumper not like the outfit combo and then I picked up the blazer that I showed you I actually am so happy with the size I got a medium in store I thought the medium looked way too big but actually trying it on it fits exactly how I want it to fit and it hits at exactly the, the like the point that I wanted it to so I'm very very happy I might actually wear the blazer to dinner tonight but with something different underneath or I'm thinking of wearing my like vintage looking it's not vintage but they call the color 
color like a vintage black or vintage gray skim stress. So I don't know. Oh, my washing's done. I feel like it's been a while since I've kind of sat in the gym with you and showed you how things look. I mean, it looks pretty much the same because every time I work out, I just put everything away. But I honestly am loving this room. I come in here pretty much every morning and it's just so good to have the space to move. But what I am looking at getting is a treadmill. And I think once I have the treadmill, I'll probably get a couple more weights. I will be able to just cancel my gym membership and I just won't need, you know, a gym membership. And I think that will suit my lifestyle way more. So let me know. Obviously I have the Peloton. Do I get the Peloton tread or is that unnecessary? Do I look into like a Nordic track or something like that? I want something that can do a, like a really decent incline because I would love the option to incline walk. But yeah, I mean, I'm just not, I'm not, not a spin girly. I don't love my Peloton, but I don't hate it enough to get rid of it, if that makes sense. I'd rather have the option, especially if I'm going to get rid of my gym membership. I would like the option to be able to do, you know, to go on the bike or go on the treadmill. But yeah, it's just not something that ever clicked for me. I know so many of my friends are obsessed with their Pelotons and quite honestly, I'd rather go for a walk. <laughs> Okay, back to sorting the room. My incentive for finishing this is that I really want a bath tonight. So if I do sort this, I can get to the bath, therefore I can have a bath, so yeah. This mirror actually was from my grandparents' house. It was in the hallway, literally, the whole time I've ever known them and now it has been given to me so I'm gonna put this in my guest bedroom. I thought it was quite princessy as well just like the shape. Okay I would say this is mad progress look at all the floor space it was absolutely full in here before so I say that's good for now. I have 30 minutes until I need to leave for dinner and honestly I'm not feeling too great not like worse enough to bail but I'm just not feeling right today it's really strange I feel really lethargic really drained and I really don't know why but I guess the best thing that I could be doing to be fair is getting pasta for dinner I feel like pasta just makes you feel better so I'm happy in that respect I just hope I perk up a little bit okay I have 15 minutes ish just a, a little less to get ready for dinner and um, sadly it is jacket time of year well coat time of year actually so regardless of what I pick I have to put a coat on top which is so sad not ready for it but this is the living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo it's really good and if you see white in my hair I'm just gonna kind of let it marinate for a minute <laughs> I've made the executive decision that I'm doing jeans but I felt like I couldn't do sorry you're so pointed at the ceiling but I couldn't do blue jeans so we're doing like the dark jeans that I have but really I don't want to be wearing low waist jeans but it's fine I'll just make sure I put an appropriate top on underneath otherwise my stomach's gonna freeze I do love these though so I'm gonna keep it super simple and do knitwear and blazer vibes so I'm literally going to wear the jumper that I wore yesterday oh no I can't no no I can't I'm doing my Uniqlo grey cashmere jumper there was a little mark on the other one that I need to get out but completely forgot cute cozy comfy dinner now the question is do I do a coat or do I do a blazer or do I do a trench? I actually think I might do my white Sandra coat. It honestly makes anything look immediately more dressy. Oh yeah, this is gray and it's actually gonna keep, actually, should I change the gray jumper to a different, yeah. Wait, let me change the jumper. Better, they're actually not a terrible match. I thought they'd be very different tones, but they're fine. Oh, I changed the jeans. So I've essentially changed the whole outfit. I've got a skirt on and I'm going to put a pair of, oh no, are these the normal ones? Or are these the, no, these are fine. My Calzonia tights. I would have done brown, but I'm wearing my dogs, so I can't, sadly. So this is the fit and I'm just going to put my docks on when I'm downstairs. I've got Calzonia tights, mango skirt, Uniqlo jumper, which I love, my Sandro coat, and then I've just got, sorry, you literally can't even see my face. My hair, I've just got kind of down with some dry shampoo in, so it's just given it a bit of volume. And I'm going to make it free. I'm going bag free. I'm just going to take some like bits in my pocket. And yes, this is the look. I will also put my docks on, but downstairs because we are a downstairs shoe household now. <gasps> I didn't put a fragrance on. I actually today have been wearing this. Wonderful. I feel like I smelled in already. <laughs> Dinner. 
it was so yummy. I went to a restaurant I'd never been to before, so it's always quite nice to like try out a new spot. And it was, as I said earlier, a pasta spot. So it was really good. But it was actually M's brother's birthday recently. So this was like the dinner we were doing to celebrate his birthday. And oh my goodness, it was so sweet what they did to celebrate him. Just the coolest. But I promised on Snapchat that I would answer some questions. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat, add me. My username is just my name. And you guys sent in literally hundreds and hundreds of questions. So I'm going to have a route all through and answer. Oh, this is a bit random. Someone said, are your clothes hangers velvet? Do they stain? I've never had any problem with any transfer onto the hangers or off the hangers. So no, but I think if yours are doing that, they definitely shouldn't be. Marina says, can you talk about what's left to do in the house? You mentioned something about the kitchen before. Yes. So I think I'm going to get paneling behind that wall there just to kind of make it feel a bit more finished off. Obviously the walls are white and I want the kitchen to feel like finished and it doesn't. So I think I'm going to do paneling there. I really want to get like an antique custom mirror that fits that whole wall. I think that would be so, so cool. And then I just need to figure out the snug situation really. I have no idea. Obviously I said in yesterday's vlog that I think I'm going to put the sofa from here into the drawing room and then I am going to get a new sofa for in here and I did talk about getting a pink one and I'm very tempted but then I'm like what do I do with this side of the snug where the TV is because I could get like a built-in situ that could be really nice I need to get someone to come and do my doors like my jib doors they're called basically where my washer and dryer are I'm having doors that don't look like doors if that makes sense so it'll just look like a a panelled wall but behind it will be my washer dryer. I guess when I'm having a carpenter do that I could see if they could quote for doing some kind of built-in situ in the snug but the, the thing is I don't necessarily want to make anything too final in there because at some point I expect I'll want to put a dining table in there instead of a sofa which is why in my drawing room I'm only getting one sofa and not two when I can fit two so then when the time comes and I eventually want to put a kitchen table in here I can put the sofa from in here in there. I mean the day might never come but I don't want to fill my house with furniture that I have nowhere for it to go. But in terms of what's left to do to the house, obviously I had my carpet run and my shutters this week. I want to do those bits in here. I need to get the guest bedroom sorted out. I need to wallpaper the bathroom. I think I am going to do that. I need to order the wallpaper actually, but I need to figure out how I measure for it first. The garden needs doing and I need the drawing room finished off and then just like all the snags. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, my fitted wardrobes, I feel like I mention those like every single day. I think that's, you know, we're getting close to it being it. <laughs> what type of Uggs do you recommend? Lydia asked that question and I don't know how short this skirt is so I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like I don't know if I can turn around. I actually ordered, I think I told you this in the other vlog, I'm sure I did. I ordered a couple pairs of Uggs, I ordered these ones and I ordered the Lana clogs and they sent me completely the wrong shoes. I obviously got these ones, thank goodness, because these are the ones that keep selling out and I got these random shoes, don't know what they are, in a UK two and not size two and they weren't even the right shoes and then I contacted Ugg and they were like yeah you just need to like return them. I was like okay can I get the other ones that I did order and they were like no they're out of stock. <laughs> so I was like okay but yeah I got these I love my ultra mini Uggs but they're just not practical for UK weather. I would spend your money on Doc Martens instead and get a pair of Ugg slippers that you can wear around the house. I love my Tasman slippers that I have that are actually in Los Angeles but they are cow prints. Bit rogue. I love them but I, yeah, just got these to have here and I think they're beautiful. But my mum also told me that at her house, they still have a pair of pink hook slippers, which I think must be there because they probably got mixed up with Sophie's because we have the same pair. And I actually have her black Lululemon leggings right now, which she's getting a bit annoyed that she's not got back. So we need to do like an exchange. How do you feel? Are you happy or have you had a sense of it being anticlimactic? I had so many of you message me and be like, look, don't be upset if you get in and you have this huge come down and you're upset or reality hits and you're like, what is going on? Have I made the right decision? And genuinely, I have not had that. I don't know if it's because I've been vlogging, so I haven't really had a chance to kind of process like on my own. Because if I was thinking about something or processing something, I'd probably talk it through with you because it just makes my life so much easier. And then I actually get feedback the next day and I can like action the feedback. So I haven't had any of that, no. I woke up the next day, like the, after staying here for the first night, literally burst out laughing in bed, laid there and laughed. And I was like, how do I live in my dream house in London? Like if teenage me knew, and I just burst out laughing. And all my friends were like, really hesitantly texting me being like, how's your morning? Like, you okay? As if I was gonna be like, ah! 
uh, no, I literally just was sending them all Snapchats back of me, like, in my bed, like, haha, like, <laughs> this is so funny. Um, it was, it's, you know what, I'm so relieved that I've not felt any kind of regret or any kind of letdown because this has been such a huge part of my life for the last however many years that I've been renovating. And... I, I think more than anything, the feeling that I have is disbelief because it genuinely is better than I could have ever hoped. And I'm so relieved that it's still the life that I want for myself. And I'm so relieved that I love everything that I've chosen for the house. So to be honest, I am so grateful and relieved about that because it wasn't in the back of my mind because I was so sure. And I'm not usually sure on things like that. So for me to be so sure of something, I knew it was the right thing. But still, there was part of me that was like, okay, be prepared if you do have just a moment. But it might happen. Like it might happen now when I'm not vlogging and I have more time to myself, who knows? Rachel asked, why do you have bedside table lamps when you already have wall lights? Genuinely curious. There's a few people that have a real sticking point about this that it really winds them up. It's genuinely just a style thing. Like it's just to style up the room. It's no deeper than that. I really like how it looks having cluttered bedside tables, but with kind of different height objects and they just worked really well. Do you already know what you want to do on Halloween? I'm, well, I have Halloween plans, like actual on Halloween, but I'm not doing the whole like dressing up, going to a party thing. I just don't like Halloween. I think I mentioned this in a previous vlog. I just don't subscribe to the idea of Halloween. I love the thought of like being, when I was younger, like dressing up and things, but I can never do justice what I want to do. So I'd rather just not try. Like I think if I went all out and I had someone do my hair, do my makeup, you know, source the really cool costume. But I just, all my plans are always so last minute that I never have time to do that stuff. So yeah, I just, I was watching everyone go out last night and I just had zero FOMO. So yeah, no, I'm not gonna be anything for Halloween. It's why I don't ever really do any Halloween videos or like I never did Halloween makeup videos really back in the day. And when I tried to, I never liked what I did. So it's just for me, one of those things that I don't really subscribe to. Like, you know, some people just really don't care about Christmas. I am just like that about Halloween. Please let me know if you're the same. I just don't know. Like, I love the idea of pumpkins. I love the idea of cute fall things, but like scary things, it's just not for me. Sophie asked, do you think you'll ever outgrow London and prefer to live somewhere more rural at a slower pace of life? I I don't foresee that happening. I think because I have the privilege of having a family that live out of London, I can get that slower pace of life if I want. And similarly, I don't think I'd ever buy like a country home or anything like that. I've seen what it's like for my family to have two houses growing up, like one in the countryside and then like a home. And I had a partner who had, you know, a place in the countryside and then the home. And I just don't think it's something that I want to do. I think if I want to spend my time getting away from the city, I would love to go and have the freedom to try different places and also there's then that pressure that you have this place and you have to use this place and time's so precious that I don't ever want to feel tied to something that doesn't serve me like do I love the idea on a weekend of being able to drive to the Cotswolds and go to a beautiful cottage or something like that heck yeah dreamy but the reality is I want to put my time into my friends and the people that live near me that are part of my world. Like how often are you going to have like friends birthdays at the weekends or plans? And then it's like you remove yourself from that active kind of social scenario by running away every weekend. And that's not something that I want to do. So yeah, I obviously can't predict the future, but ever since I was 10 years old, I have been dreaming of being in the city and I really don't see that changing. I see so many people who I know that live in London and have raised families in London and everything's at your fingertips. So I just don't know if that's something I would ever want to give up for a more rural, slower pace of life. Could I see myself moving to another city at some point in my life? Heck yeah. I would love to live in, I don't know, like Manhattan for a year. That would be insane. But the idea of being in the countryside in a cottage, yes, sounds cool, but I think the charm would wear off really quickly for me. I feel like I I need constant stimulation. <laughs> You know what? I think I've just had an accidentally active day. Like, I I don't know. I've done like 20, over 20,000 steps. My skin just needs mad hydration at the moment. So I was thinking about tonight, tomorrow. Obviously, it's a full moon and it signifies new beginnings, new chapters. And my mum sent me something that I was reading up on that specifically for Aries, it signifies like a real new chapter, this moon, for some reason. Don't know why. Um, so I was just thinking about what am I going to change and what am I going to try and implement because I guess because I am really trying to like I don't know use this as a new 
start. I love a fresh start. I love a Monday. I love the start of a new week. I was that person at school that was like, felt like a brand new person every Monday. I had no reason to, but I just told myself, I was like, this is your fresh start. <laughs> but I already feel like I'm doing so much for myself recently, like self-care wise, life wise. I, so I don't know, maybe the difference for like this new beginning will be that I'll actually write things down instead of just internally deciding that I'm gonna do these things. There's this crazy statistic that it's some, there's some crazy high percentage, higher chance that something will happen if you write it down. Don't know where it comes from don't know what the percentage is but it's like a shocking percentage i'm sure someone in the comments can fill us in so if you ever want anything to happen if you're ever trying to manifest anything or if like there's someone you want to go on a date with and you just don't know if they're going to like reach out to you write it down like write down i'm going going to go on a date with this person or i'm going to get a reservation at this restaurant or i'm going to you know something like that and it makes it way more likely to happen. I mean, I'm sure there's some kind of like mythical, magical science behind it. I don't know what it is. Well, my skin is well and truly uh, like a glazed donut. I've just put the Summer Fridays jet lag mask. I've got that pre-period skin where it's just not happy. And I just have like a ton of whiteheads on my face. And I, I know you know, but it's fine. And I know in a couple days it will be gone. But I don't know if you can hear, but it's raining and I'm gonna get into bed and listen to the rain and head off to sleep. Tomorrow is, well, we have two more vlogs. Tomorrow and then Monday. So you like the final vlog you will see from me will be on Tuesday, which is really sad, but, well not final ever. My goodness, don't go anywhere. But the final like moving daily vlog. And then it'll be really nice actually because the progress you see on the house will probably be like a bit more each week because I'll have had a bit more time in between. But we're actually going to Bista Village for the final vlog. It just so happened that that's how it works worked out so I was like ooh that feels quite fun and it's quite a nice time to go before like the Christmas rush so what I'm gonna go and look at there is the white company for their homeware any kind of Christmas gifts that I can get because I have a very busy November and then obviously it's vlogmas so it's just busy from here on out and it's just exciting I feel so lucky and so grateful to have so many fun things on I'm feeling like start feel a bit more settled in my everyday but like I said to you earlier I think I do need just some time to process also so your comments have been so lovely the last couple days if you've made it this far in the vlog please give it a, a thumbs up thank you so much for even being here i just feel like vlogging every day for the past month and sharing this real kind of transitional time in my life has just reconnected us all so much and i'm so grateful for that can you hear it but anyway thank you so much for watching hope you're enjoying your day whatever day you're watching this and i'll see you bright and early in the morning good night